uh, this uh, happiness from this understanding and feeling uh, we don't have a whole lot of experience of that so unless we get some taste of it it seems very far away yes true we have taste of uh, happiness or whatever okay. excitement from this tasty food and things like that <laughs> but yes. we don't have the experience so can is there any way that you know this i mean this exercise is very helpful because um if we are trying to fulfill this need of the happiness by physical facility that is a big problem that is a big sort of revelation if i would but to get a idea about this happiness from right understanding that uh, taste is not there i mean that experience is not there i mean the experience is there but we have not been very observant about it <laughs> okay so what i would say is that you know we have to start becoming aware of ourselves right our body in this self we have to be aware of the feeling that we have at this moment then we have to be aware of whether we are in a state of harmony and happiness or we are in a state of contradiction and unhappiness so if we start observing this then it will be possible for you to get the test of it so whenever you have time you want to go and meet your friend with whom you are comfortable right or you want to go to somebody you know for whom you have a feeling of opposition you always you... want to meet people you are comfortable with yes <laughs> and why we are doing it because we have that test test of being you know in harmony with someone or at least having a feeling of relationship for someone you know makes me comfortable it gives me a feeling of harmony and happiness so i want to go and meet him spend time with him right and when i am with him the time passes you know yeah you don't even right. come to know it's... yes it runs it runs on the other hand you try to avoid going to the boss because you feel that there is a opposition there you know feeling of opposition there, there. there must be some good bosses also but poor bosses <laughs> they get beaten up <laughs> yes certainly there <laughs> must be good bosses if they have right understanding and right feeling you will have very good boss and that is what we want to ensure yes but today unfortunately the boss stands for opposition you know. yes domination yes so you don't want to face you know your boss you want to run away from there so even now you have this experience that when you are in a state of you know um, when you have a feeling of relationship you feel you know being in a state of harmony and happiness you are comfortable within whenever you are, there is a feeling of opposition you are not comfortable within now this experience is already there but we have not been observing it very consciously and we don't think that this is some experiment going on and i am making some you know observation taking some reading and therefore concluding something you think that okay this goes on anyway you know i will do experiment in the lab not in the real life what we are saying is that the experiments are going on in the real life right you have to experience it you have to observe it and you have to experience it so that experiential validation is required and for this life to you know to understand this life and what is going on i don't have to create a lab right my existence itself is in you know real time experiment going on and i can be very aware of it and observant of it and i can observe and see and evaluate so if i do that i can see the test of happiness and test of unhappiness i can see that when i have a feeling of opposition how it tests similarly when i have a feeling of relationship how do i feel 
Yeah, very true. So this test is there, but I have to be aware, I have to be observant, I have to be able to see and evaluate and conclude. If I do that, then I can see that feeling of, you know, harmony, feeling of relationship leads to harmony and happiness. And feeling of opposition leads to disharmony, it leads to contradiction, leads to unhappiness. Yes. Yes. And once we are aware and able to observe and take this, make this conclusion, then yes, next time I will try to work for the right feeling. And not otherwise. Yes. So say say we, we are uh, trying to have a right understanding in our uh, every feeling. And uh, uh, certainly it will make us happy. And when people around us are not having that kind of direction of thinking, then how one alone can remain happy? And at the same time, say one understand the, and have the right feeling and have the uh, behavior, behavior with the other in the same manner with the right feeling. At the same time, other people are not behaving with the same uh, similar people with the same feeling. And if you, if you really feeling that they are not behaving with the right feeling and right understanding, then how, looking to those behavior of those people with the other people. Uh, since I, I have the right feeling, so I become unhappy rather. So how to resolve it? See, there are two things. One is first, we thought that we will get happiness through sensation. Right? So we were busy trying to accumulate physical facility. The second thing is that we think that we will get happiness through feeling from others. So I'm talking in terms of behavior. Yeah. So this one I'm saying that we have to come out of this, you know, assumption that Sensation can be source of happiness, continuous happiness. And feeling from others can be source of continuous happiness. So even feelings cannot be the source of continuous happiness if we are trying to get it from others. So what can be the source of happiness? The source of happiness could be the feeling which I have in myself. That has a possibility of being continuous. And how do I ensure this feeling in continuity in me? By having right understanding. So this is what we have been saying, you know, when we are saying right understanding and right feeling, we are saying that we have to ensure right understanding in ourselves. And on the basis of right understanding, we have to ensure right feeling in ourselves in continuity. In regard of whether the other is having that feeling or not having that feeling whether the other is responding or not responding. I want continuity of happiness and I can have continuity of happiness only when I have this continuity of right feeling in me and that I can have by ensuring right understanding in myself. So only when my feeling is based on my right understanding that it can be continuous. If my feeling is based on the incidences which are taking place with the other, then I cannot ensure this continuity of my feeling. Because if the other person is responding properly, I will have a right feeling for him. But the moment he does not respond properly or he reacts, my feeling will change. So this cannot be continuous. My feeling can be continuous only if it is based on my right understanding. So this is why, you know, both are important. Right understanding is important and on the basis of that right feeling in myself is important. So if I want to ensure continuity of happiness, this getting happiness through sensation or through feeling from others cannot be the source of continuous happiness. Are we able to see this? So we have been saying right from the beginning that source of continuous happiness is right understanding in myself and right feeling in myself, not from others. Because when I'm looking for feeling from others, there is no guarantee of continuity. 
So that cannot be the source of continuous happiness for me. But as it stands, most of the time we are dependent on others. <laughs> we are seeking things from outside, whether physical facility or the feeling. So we are all the time dependent on others. <laughs> and as long as we are dependent on others, that cannot be the source of continuity of happiness whether in terms of physical facility or in terms of feeling from others. So I have to ensure this continuity of feeling in myself. And that I can ensure by way of having right understanding. So both right understanding in the self is required and right feeling in the self is required. And that is what we have been saying right from the beginning. So, so this is true, I understand. Uh, say I develop this uh, sense of right feeling and uh, right understanding. Then I uh, realize that uh, what should be my behavior with others? It should be in the right feeling in, the, in terms of relationship. And that certainly gives me happiness. When I see other people of the similar, uh, sim similar capacity and not behaving in the same manner, which I supposed to have with others. So that make me unhappy. Why people are behaving those people in this manner? So how, what should be, either I should be uh, keep myself away from that, not thinking of what others are doing. Uh, more I become sensitive about the right understanding, right feeling. If I see the behavior of the other people, not with me, uh, with their colleagues or juniors or servants on this. So that makes me unhappy. See, when I see that somebody is not behaving properly, then my conclusion would be that he does not have the right feeling. Perfect. Right. And then my conclusion would be that he does not have the right understanding. Right. Then I will sympathize with him rather than react. Mm -hmm. So I will sympathize with him and I will think how I can help him. Mm. Now what I am doing, otherwise is reacting. I say, okay, he is not behaving properly, so I will also not behave properly. No, not, it's not that. It's, it's the reaction within me uh, that is making me unhappy. And uh, I'll help them to, to, to have a right understanding. Of course, that's a long process. So till then, I'll be continuously being unhappy, having the reaction inside, seeing the behavior of other people with other people. This is what I'm saying that when you are having a reaction, are you having the right feeling or you have disturbed your own feeling? Mm -hmm. So I have a sympathy for him, but then I will not disturb my own right feeling. I will continue to have that right feeling. Okay. And with that right feeling, I will try to see what, how I can help him, you know. To initiate this process of self-exploration in him, initiate this process of understanding in him. Yes. Yeah, on a lighter note, uh, is saying that instead of boss, why not we say guide and guidance? No, then there is no problem. Then there is no problem. Exactly. <laughs> 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 People are not taking guidance, actually. People are not taking in a position guidance. to guide, and we are also not in a position to take guidance because of that feeling of opposition. But if there is a feeling of you know, affection, feeling of love, then yes, we will have guides, and we'll have people who want to take the guidance from them. So what, uh, you know, is correct that today as it starts, we try to do good and if people don't respond, we become bad. We react. What we are saying is that if we have the right feeling, it leads to a state of happiness within. So I will continue to have the right feeling based on my right understanding. And if the other does not respond, I will sympathize with him and I will try to help him to come out of his bad condition rather than I am myself getting into the bad condition. Mm -hmm. 
but this is what is happening generally today you know this is what i have the extra emotional emotional person eh this is this is what i am an extra emotional person disturbing yeah. myself seeing seeing the behavior of others with other eh i am an extra emotional person uh, being disturb myself seeing yes. the behavior of other people with other yes and it does not help either you or the other yes so i have to become a responsible person Hmm. that in all situations i respond respond with the good right feeling hmm. which is based on right understanding so that ensures number one my continuity of happiness and number two i can be of real help to the others i mean this is interesting you know the <laughs> the slowly we will be able to see that i do need physical facility to ensure the health of the body to ensure the nourishment protection and right utilization of the body so their physical facility is necessary and we must ensure and we can ensure more than what is required you know and by having more will fulfill our need of the body and also share with others but when it comes to the need of happiness of the self then this has to be ensured by way of right understanding and right feeling and not by way of something from outside and therefore education becomes one of the most important thing because this right understanding and right feeling can be ensured through education it can be ensured in every child and that is the major part of the responsibility of education which we are not doing that today the major part of the responsibility of education and sanskar is to ensure this right understanding right feeling in every child this state of continuity of happiness in every child and it does not involve much physical facility it does not involve much physical facility it only requires you know a uh, system or a uh, way to connect connect people that's all it does not call for much physical facility yeah for example we are sharing right we are sharing we are exploring together what is needed just this connection you know internet connection right you are anyway eating your food and i am eating my food you know which i was eating even otherwise right so very minimal is required in terms of physical facility to ensure this process of education but what transacts through education a major part of it is this right understanding and right feeling so if we only understand this you know need of the self and the need of the body and how they are fulfilled we can bring it in the education and we already have 20 years of time for the child to explore all these things understand them be with them right ensure right understanding right feeling in themselves in a state of continuous happiness with that he will also learn certain you know uh skills to produce this physical capacity that is required but by then he will be able to identify that this need of physical facility is very minimal and he has already developed a number of skills to produce and therefore he can produce far more than what is required today if you look at the education are we ensuring right understanding are we ensuring right feeling or we are only busy trying to give some skill by which some physical facility can be produced or we are not even talking about production we are talking about management or we are talking about accumulation so the child going through this education for 20 years is not willing to work not willing to produce not willing to labor 
and they want to consume more and more. <clears throat> so this right understanding and right feeling has to be ensured through education. That is the major role of education, I would say. Right. Learning skills is necessary to produce physical facility. So we should do that. But if we are really working for right understanding and right feeling, the, the child will have this mentality to learn the skill and produce things, you know, and have the mindset to work, to labor, which we do not have to do. So we are not taking care of right understanding. We are not taking care of right feeling. We are not even preparing them to, you know, kind of work with the rest of nature that is produced. I have a question. Uh, since uh, we are already into that loop, uh, need and accumulation, deprivation and so on. So co come, to come out of this, we uh, require to understand the need also. However, as we can't predict the future, even our own age, health, also the requirement of the dependents, how to know what will be required? See, clothing, food for a year or 10 can be calculated. But what about the unforeseen requirements? Education is already one example, exponential increase in it, unpredictable, medical need of another prof is another profession, once respectable, but see what is the condition today we all know. So please guide. Yeah. So <clears throat> one thing is at least clear that our day-to-day -day needs are limited. They can be defined and we can ensure more than what is required, right? So at least this much is clear and I'm happy about that. Now let us come to this education and health and things like that, you know, okay. Now this, I was just mentioning, you know, responding to Samilaji's question that, you know, uh, what is your age, by the way? Yeah, 53. 53. So when you were in school, what was the fees? Hardly uh, 10 rupees to 15 rupees. 10 rupees to 15. What is the fees now in this school? Maybe uh, a lakh rupee or so. So why this has happened? That we have to understand. There are, there are market forces. There are n number of reasons. Means... Yeah, and one of the reasons is that we are in this vicious loop. Yeah, yeah definitely. We are okay. already into it. Now, we have to come out of this vicious loop. At least we have to start the, you know, make the beginning. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Number one. Number two, this health, for example, right? Are we really getting health by paying for it? Or we are only getting some temporary, you know, uh, way to manage the disease? What do you think? It's, it, it depends upon what kind of uh, health problem one has. Uh, there are uh, so many times it's uh, just going to the doctor for the sake of assessing whether it is good or not. But uh, for us, we normally we avoid all those things. But uh, in case we fall into some uh, problem or some of the dependents uh, fall into the problem, we don't know. What will be the requirement at that time? Yeah. So now what I'm saying is that two things have to be done. Number one, with right understanding and right feeling, I have to have this sense of responsibility towards the body. And that sense of responsibility towards the body will include, you know, my self-regulation towards the body. And that self-regulation towards the body, that is my responsibility of nurturing, protecting, and ensuring the right utilization of the body, will ensure the health of the body, not the treatment. So this is one thing that we will do. Second thing is that, you know, overall things have to be done in the society so that people are not, you know, out for just accumulation. No. So something has to be done there. Number three, even with accumulation of lot of money, right? Can you ensure that your body will not die? 
it has to it will die it yeah. so if it has to die i have to understand that it will die and with no effort i can keep it alive forever but we think that it is good to die in the hospital in the icu you know why do we think so these people who have accumulated lakhs and crores of rupees right are you able to ensure that their body does not die no isn't it not possible yes not possible only thing you have choice is that you have either you die in your home with your relatives around you know taking care of you or you die in the icu i assume of uh, you know the small hospital or big hospital so that is not anywhere very big achievement i would say the big achievement would be that i am able to keep my body healthy and that i can do by having this right understanding and right feeling in this self being in a state of continuous happiness then with this right understanding and right feeling i have the feeling of responsibility towards the body so i take care so i take care of the body i take care of nurturing of the body protection of the body and right utilization of the body and if i do that i can keep my body healthy the doctors cannot keep my body healthy i can keep my body healthy a responsible self can keep the body healthy and when you become a responsible self and start taking care of the body you realize that you know the body has so much of flexibility its needs are so less and what you can produce through body is so much you know so much of labor you can do and so much of fineness the body has right i mean it is one of the most you know complicated robots that you can ever think of right with all advancement in artificial intelligence and everything we are not able to make a robot which can you know do the work of a body even 1 by 1000 times so such a fine instrument we have and i can take care of it without really you know getting into trouble so i will nurture the body so when i am eating food i will eat food which is nurturing for the body and not just tasty so i will eat food which is nurturing and which is tasty and i will not eat food which is tasty but not nurturing at least i will not eat food which is harming for the body which we are doing today right lifestyle we will set our lifestyle proper now see what has happened to our young generation most of these professional colleges right the time table of sleeping and getting up is just reversed the students are sleeping by 2 o'clock 3 o'clock getting up by 9 o'clock you know or even 10 o'clock and they rush to the mess pick up their bread and you know rush to the class eating bread on the way he was saying that by the age of 35 the medical bill of most of these engineers run into 2 lakhs rupees now why is this happening because we are not responsible towards the body we are not responsible towards the health of the body and self is itself in the trouble so it is frustrated and it is depressed and because of that as a part of escaping from unhappiness it takes to overeating over sleeping it takes to drugs now we are spoiling the health are we really aware of the health are we responsible towards the health of the body all that will come i would say then i will be able to keep my body healthy so all these things have to be understood i mean but i wouldn't say do anything in a hurry if you are not understanding all this then keep accumulating more and more money okay and provide right kind of physical you know medical facility to your body as and when required but we have to start studying into all this otherwise we'll continue to be in a vicious loop i mean i see most of these people who have lot of money they have a plastic you know uh, box in which so much of medicine is there so they are <laughs> then, you know kind of uh, having the problem of diabetes they are having the problem of 
blood pressure you know, they already had a heart surgery you know and so many things and for everything they have one set of medicine so 10 to 20 tablets every day and i you know when i see this you know three times you have to take this insulin before eating you know, so painful and this is what we are calling as health so we are not getting the right you know kind of help in health of course we are not getting the right education however hard we may be paying we are paying through nose and what education are we getting is this education ensuring happiness of my child leave alone the continuity of happiness or it is making my child every day more worried more tense more depressed more frustrated with the hope that sometime you know he will get happiness but i am not saying condemn all this you know my idea of just saying all this is just to draw your attention that there is a possibility of doing something better mm-hmm. and let us work for doing something better right but it will take time and we have to go through all these odd processes in between sir i want to make a comment on education yes sir uh, when we decide that where my child will study uh, one of the idea behind one of the um, main aim we keep in that from this school he will have a very good education and he'll get one job at least this much this much uh, expectations we have uh, forget forgetting about right understanding right feeling because we are not knowing it even <laughs> so uh, with this aim that he'll get a good job and going to the school of some reputed school paying high fees recently uh, the rajasthan gor government uh, where they are uh, recruiting the administrative officer rs officer so there was a survey being done uh, 75% were students from uh, uh, government schools and out of those maximum from the rural area so the purpose for which we are paying for our children to the education even that purpose is not being fulfilled yes and even at the next stage we had decided my son or daughter should become a doctor or engineer then any by any mean we thought that whether it will be uh, costing crores of rupees we will pay it so this is what we have decided at wrong direction and that's what we are paying it yes yes, yes. true in fact i will share one experience in tpit when we were working on this uhb course uh, uh, one uh, once we asked this you know students finally students that now that you are passing out what is your expectation and one of the student very articulately said number one i want a good job and good job means high salary number two i want job job satisfaction and number three if possible no work right so this is the mentality we have created if possible no work just the salary and that is higher salary yes that is true yes even even the, even during coaching uh, students are being stressed and study so much when they get admission in iit they are relax that now no need to uh, even no need to study even yes. i remember one of, one of the person from our western rajasthan region he got very good rank and got iit chennai in first semester he could not qualify you mm, yes <laughs> so there's a condition so to and namaste nidhi sir ji. yes namaste where are you from nidhi ji uh, sir i am from maharashtra shirdi maharashtra. shirdi oh very good place yes yes uh, sir uh, my question is can feelings be conveyed without expressing it all the time i mean uh, to we are enjoying the session we are getting so much of things to learn from you so do i have to convey you all the time that i have this feeling of gratitude for you or it is there within me and i do not have to express 
yeah in fact sometime we will talk about this feeling and the expression of the feeling you know so uh, <clears throat> this expression can be very uh, you know uh, minimal i mean there is a whole range okay. so when you are trying to express your feeling to someone who understands this you know uh, feeling then you may not have to say anything or even a very little one you know word or one expression would do right but when you have to convey it to somebody who does not have that understanding that level of understanding then you have to do two things you have to convey the feeling through your words through your gestures through your expressions other expressions you know and also you have to work for developing right understanding in the other so there it becomes very important to express so when you are educating the child for example when you are interacting with the child now you have this responsibility that not only that you express your right feeling to the child but you have to work for developing understanding in the child so that he can understand these feelings and he can have these feelings in himself and when when he has this feeling in himself then you know very small indication would do or you may not even have to express you know the other person will be able to understand so for example you know we keep saying right from the beginning that you don't have to spend time you know expressing this feeling of gratitude because we think that if we are talking something valuable and if you are getting something meaningful from it you will have a feeling of gratitude so you don't have to really express it you know so even if you are not expressing we know that it will be there and if it is not there you know then rather than you know having the complaint that it is not there i have to work for your understanding you know developing your understanding so that with that understanding you will have this feeling anyway so this expression is not very necessary when the other person is able to understand and he has this feeling in himself but it is very important to you know express when we are working with the people who do not have this right understanding and right feeling so very important and this is one of the important aspect of education so when we whenever we are interacting with anybody not only the child we have to have this responsibility that whatever i am expressing will help to communicate the right feeling to the other will also help in developing right feeling in the other will also help in developing the right understanding in the other so that finally he can have the right feeling on the basis of his understanding so that is the kind of responsibility we have we have you know whenever we are interacting with the society right whether it is in the family or outside the family in the workplace or wherever it is that responsibility we have to assume and when we assume this responsibility we act accordingly you know so when i am interacting with anybody who does not have this right understanding and the right feeling it is my responsibility to express it in a manner you know first it is my responsibility to have the right feeling in me then it is my responsibility to express this feeling to the other in a manner that it reaches to him or her right then i have to try that you know this creates the right kind of feeling generates the right kind of feeling in the other and ultimately it generates the you know at least helps to generate the right understanding in the other so there i have to be very expressive you know very responsible and expressive for example this question that we are you know responding now we have lot of discussion going on that if we are responding it in this manner many times it is becoming too you know kind of involved when it becomes too involved the people who have just joined 
may find it very difficult to understand and they may even start feeling that you know this is talking too high so what do we do how do we balance it right or we don't talk about these higher possibilities just start responding at the level of ehb1 whatever is being introduced just respond in connection to that if there is any question outside that you know just say that okay fine we will discuss about it as we go on along so all these issues keep you know we keep discussing because they are important issues so expression is a res act very responsible act you know in our relationship within the family in the workplace in the society and we have to work on it yes we have to be very you know cautious and responsible towards this but if the other person has this right understanding and right feeling to whatever extent yes to that extent i don't even need to express it will be communicated by a small very small hint very small expression i mean for example i would take this as an indicator that you know 200 300 people are joining this you know every day in their place okay and many of them would have no, never got up in the morning at 5 o'clock right? but they are getting up they are joining it you know on their own without any incentive given from outside right? people who are quite busy you know difficult for them to take out time but they are every day spending 2 hours i remember lumten ji was saying you know uh, lumten ji is, uh, is director of one of the college in bhutan and he's also the pro vice chancellor of royal university of bhutan uh, he was saying that almost after you know more than a month he was saying that till this date i have not you know missed even for a minute and that day he had to travel from his place to thimphu which is capital of bhutan and he said that if you can finish this session by 7 o'clock sharp then i will leave at sharp you know 7 o'clock because i don't want to miss now that kind of uh, you know commitment that kind of sincerity one is you know working of course he has a feeling of gratitude so he need not convey that but when it comes to education yes we have to be responsible responsible in our expression of the feeling because that will what convey you know to the child or to anybody who does not have the right understanding and right feeling yes 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 thank you very much thank you everybody